Hello students. Today we are doing the mental ability of the paper TNPSC Group 1 2015. We have question number 31 which says that among the 50 students in a class, what percentage of the students like biology and chemistry? So he is giving you the total number of the students is are 50 students and he is asking you what percentage of the students like biology and chemistry. So from the given data, first you have to find how many students like biology and chemistry. So 15 plus 8, 23. So 23 students are liking this biology and chemistry. So among the 50 students you have to find the percentage. So in the denominator you will keep this total number of students and in the numerator you will put the total number of students who like biology and chemistry multiply by 100 to find the percentage. So cancel it out. This is 2 and this is 46 percentage. So 46 percentage of the students like biology and chemistry and in question paper it was the option number B. So here the option number B is we have question number 32 which says for any observations of data what is the value of this summation of x minus n into x bar so this is a question of statistics so if you know the formula of mean which is nothing but x bar which says that the mean of any n observations of data is summation of x divided by n Means if you have given any three data and if I am asking you what is the mean of this data you will just add all the data 1 plus 2 plus 3 and how many numbers 3 numbers so you will divide 3 that is that will be the mean of these observations of data. So similarly the x bar is equal to summation of x in divided by n. So if you will just multiply cross multiply this it will be n into x bar equal to summation of x. We have given this identity so for this equation we will just transfer this into another side that will be equal to n into x bar which is equal to 0. So the correct answer is 0 which is option number D. Now we have the next question that is question number 33 which is a simplification and simplification of this. As you have seen that this is a very big decimal number but if you will try the normal calculation it will take more time but if you know the identity if you know some formulas you can easily do it that is a very very simple identity which is a square minus b square is a minus b bracket a plus b here you can see that you can apply this identity because this is a square this is 0 0.728 square minus 0 0.272 square divided by 0 0.456. So let us write this. 0 0.728 square minus 0 0.272 square divided by 0 0.456. Now apply this identity which is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So this is my A and this is my B. So according to this identity, this formula, you can write a 0 0.728 minus 0 0.272 bracket close multiply 0 0.728 plus 0 0.272 divided by 0 0.456. When you will subtract this number, you will get 0 0.456. When you will add these two numbers, you will get 1 divided by 0 0.456. This will be cancelled. Answer will be 1. So the option number B is.
Now we have next question which is question number 35. Question says that a person's age is 2 5 fifth of the age of his mother. After 8 years he will be 1 half of the age of his mother. How old is the mother at present? This kind of age related problems. If you will change all the language into the mathematical terms, you can easily get the answer. So first you will read the first line that is a person's age is 2 by 5th of the age of his mother. So let me take P as the person's age and as the mother's age. So question says that person's age is 2 by 5th of mother's age. Right. This is the first thing which question is saying. Now in the next line the question says that after 8 years. So after 8 years the person's age will be P plus 8 and the mother's age will be M plus 8. He will be one half of the age of his mother. So after 8 years this person is half of his mother's age as the question says. Now let's cross multiply this. It will be 2p plus 16 equal to m plus 8. Now you know that p value, value of p in the term of m. So put the value of p in the term of m. It will be 2 up into 2 by 5 m plus 16 equal to m plus 8 which will be 4 by 5 m plus 16 equal to m plus 8. Let's do it here. 4 by 5 m minus m equal to 8 minus 16 which will be 4 m minus 5 m by 5 equal to minus 8 which will be minus m upon 5 equal to minus 8 minus minus cancel m is 40 what was the m m was the mother's age so this was the mother's age so answer is 40 and which is the option b in the question Now we have the next question which is the question number 36 which is again a simplification question and you have given a very big value and you have to find the value of this. So as I told you if you know the formulas or the identities then you can do this kind of question very very easily. So as you can see this is 1.2q minus 0.2q. This is 1.2q. This is 0.2q. So if you know what is a minus q formula you can easily do this question so a q minus b q identity is a minus b bracket second bracket a square plus b square plus a b always keep in the mind here it is minus but here it is plus similarly the other identity if i talk about that is a q plus b q is a plus b a square plus b square minus ab. So here you can see that this is 1.2 q minus 0.2 q. This is 1.2 square plus 1.2 into 0.2 plus 0.2 square. So let us write it in the compact form 1.2 q minus 0.2 q divided by 1.2 square plus 1.2 into 0.2 plus 0.2 square that is equal to aq minus bq aq minus bq is a minus b a square plus b square plus ab if you have any problem you can easily here write that a is my 1.2 and b is my 0.2 so this is aq minus bq which is 
2 minus 0 0.2 according to the formula into 1.2 square plus 0 0.2 square minus it is plus sorry this is 0 0.2 square divided by 1.2 square plus 1.2 According to the formula, it is 1.2 into 0 0.2. So 1.2 into 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 square. So this quantity and this quantity is same. So it will be cancelled out. And the remaining is 1.2 minus 0 0.2. When you will subtract this, you will get the 1, which is again the option number B. The next question is 37, which is related to discount. A bicycle marked at rupees 1500 is sold for rupees 1350. What is the percentage of discount? First of all, you always keep, you should always keep in mind that uh, whenever we uh, whenever any discount is given, it is always given on the marked price. So whatever will be the MRP, you will always get a discount on MRP. So discount percentage. If I say what is discount percentage or how to calculate discount percentage. First, you have to write the discount. Whatever discount is given, that discount divided by marked price, with whatever be the MRP, divide into 100. Because this discount is given on the MRP, the, on the marked price, that is marked price. So when you are calculating the discount percentage, you will always find the percentage over this mark price so discount by mark price into 100 because discount is always given on the mark price so what is the mark price the mark price of that bicycle is 1500 rupees and now its selling price is 1350 so if any bicycle key bicycle's MRP is 1500 rupees and if it is sold at rupees 1350 you can easily find what the discount what money or what is the discount right so discount given is 1500 minus 1350 subtract it 150 rupees so 150 rupees is the discount which is given on this bicycle so according to this formula or you can always find the discount percentage. Discount percentage is equal to discount is 150 and discount is always given on the MRP. So in the denominator, you will always keep the mark price, not selling price, not the cost price. So this is 1500 into 100. So just cancel it out. That is 10%. So option D is correct. The, all of the next questions they are coming in upcoming videos this, the, we will try to provide all the we will provide all the solutions of each and every mental ability questions of this group 1 2015 paper thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day